Hello and thanks for taking the time to look at Pentalogic Pivot Point web part for SharePoint. In this video we're going to show you how to use Pivot Point to create pivot charts and pivot tables directly from your SharePoint lists. How you can drill down from your charts and tables to see filtered list views and see how charts and tables created with Pivot Point update dynamically as your SharePoint list data changes. So for this scenario we're going to use an ordinary SharePoint issues list which we're using to manage help tickets. I've added a wiki page where we're going to create a help desk dashboard inserting two pivot points, one showing active tickets by team members in a pie chart and the other using a pivot table and a column graph to show tickets by date and priority. So in order to set this up we need to first add the web part to the page in the standard way, edit and then configure. Give it a title. Now you can see we've got the option to add a chart, a table or both. On this occasion we're going for just a chart. Choosing the list and the list view that the data is going to come from and choosing which list columns we'd like the data to come from. That's it for configuration. So now let's look at the chart layout options. Here I'm simply going to choose the style of chart, which is going to be a pie chart, and I'm going to animate it, because animation is just fun, isn't it? And that's it. Here's your pie chart. The process of adding the column graph and table is the same, and these two can be added using just the one web part, simply by choosing both chart and table in the configuration area as you saw earlier. So you can see that with Pivot Point it's easy to go from this basic list to this far more informative dashboard in just a couple of minutes. Now we're going to look at the drill down. You can see as we hover here that each of the segments of this pie chart is in fact a clickable link. Clicking on that link will take you to a filtered view of the list data showing just the items represented by that section of the chart. In this case you can see that Barney has a very small slice of pie whilst Ryan has much more to deal with. So we're going to click on Ryan's section of the chart and share things out a little more evenly. You can see here that having clicked on Ryan's segment, we're through to a filtered view of the list showing just Ryan's tasks. We're going to amend one of those and reallocate it to Barney. So going back to the dashboard, you can now see that uh, things have been updated in line with the changes that we've made to the list so that tasks are now much more evenly allocated. You could also choose to add new tasks to the list directly from this link here in the dashboard. So with drill down to the detail of your lists and dashboards that update your list data changes, it's easy to see how Pivot Point can provide a really dynamic user interface for your SharePoint lists. So that's Pivot Point. We've shown you how to create pivot charts and pivot tables directly from your SharePoint list data, how to drill down from your charts and tables to see filtered views of your lists, and how your tables and charts dynamically update as your list data changes. Thank you for taking the time to watch. If you like what you've seen, why not visit our website and start a 30-day free trial of Pivot Point now? Or if you have any questions, please contact us. Thanks. Bye.